Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So from the thumbnail, I hope you get to know about the topic of today's video. So in this video, I'll be talking about few skill set that you must learn before joining into IITs and ISC for your MTech curriculum. Now there is a disclaimer. This is not a generic video for all the streams. Rather, this is a dedicated video for the students from computer science engineering branch or some related branch like AI or CDS. So there are few skill set if you know them or if you learn them now prior to joining uh, to these institutions, your life will be a bit easier. So this will be an add on or this will be give you an edge in your MTech days uh, in these institutions. Obviously, your part of the struggle will be there. You still have to do a lot of struggle there uh, during your coursework. But if you know this uh, skill set that will help you in different uh, courses that you'll be taking there. So I'll be talking about this skill set uh, in this video and that will be all about this video. So if you want to know in detail about it, please stay tuned in the video till end and please like this video if you have liked it. And if you have if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that when I upload a video, you will get instant notification. Without further ado, let us start into today's video. The first thing that you must learn is the mathematics. I hope you know all of you have done some sort of mathematics during your undergraduate days. But you know that level uh, is not sufficient now because you will be joining to IISCs and different IITs which are top institutions in our country and I hope you understand their level. Their level is far above than your undergraduate uh, you know college uh, which is maybe attached to a tier 3 colleges. So that's why during your MTech you have to do a lot of mathematical derivations and proofs and for that you need a very strong understanding of the basic mathematics that is there in your undergraduate days. And especially if you are focusing on the theoretical machine learning part or you know ML or AI part, then math you can't ignore. Uh, if you are focusing on system, then maybe you can ignore mathematics a bit. But if you are focusing on the other two things like theoretical uh, computer science or machine learning or AI domain, then mathematics you must do. So that's why you 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 start brushing up your concept that is there uh, in the mathematics. If you are interested to work in theoretical computer science like algorithm, complex theory or graphs and graph theory or maybe cryptography. So these areas, if you're interested in then your knowledge on the discrete math will be very much needed. So I'll recommend you that please go through uh, the discrete math subject that is there in your undergraduate or uh, whatever you have prepared during your gate uh, preparation also and brush up your knowledge in the discrete math that will be needed for you. And if you're interested to work in AI or machine learning domain, then your knowledge on linear algebra probability and calculus will be needed. So that's why you must brush up your knowledge on these uh, subjects. I know all of you have done some sort of linear algebra probability during your gate preparation. But frankly speaking, that is not enough. You must learn a bit more now in order to excel in AI and machine learning domain. So that's why I'll give you some reference from where you can study these subjects. Uh, from for, for linear algebra, you can refer to Professor Gilberstang video that is there in uh, YouTube. That's an excellent video. And I, I know I hope all of you know about it. So you can refer to that video and that will give you a strong intuition about the subject, which will be helpful for your MTech days. For probability also, you can refer to a playlist uh, that is there in, uh, in YouTube that is also by MIT. Uh, that is also really good and for calculus you can refer to the uh, the book that you have referred uh, during your undergraduate days or for during your get preparation days. So all the links I will be given in the description. So these are the things that you must prepare. So the math is a math will play a very big role in your MTech days if you are looking for AI machine learning domain or theory of computer science. So that's why I'm telling you that please go through the basics of mathematics very well so that you know when the professors at IITs and IIS will go in the advanced level. You won't struggle in the basic part. The next thing that I recommend you to learn is basics of machine learning. I know in all of the IITs, wherever you will be joining uh, in your MTech curriculum, there will be a machine learning course uh, and, and there will be advanced machine learning course as well. But if you learn the basics of machine learning from any resources, that will be an extra age. You know? Whenever you're hearing the new terms in your machine learning class, you won't feel, you know, kind of uncomfortable. So that's why I will recommend you that try to do some basic course on the machine learning. You can refer to the Coursera course that is by Professor Andrew NG. Or maybe there are there are a lot of resources now available online in YouTube and different online platforms. 
so just try to have a look on the different machine learning terminology and you know try to have a basic understanding of machine learning what's going on there so that whenever you'll be doing a machine learning class in your uh, you know mtech days in iit and isc uh, you 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 won't start from the zero i mean you you have some familiarity about the term and that will obviously help you next is learn how to prove the correctness of the algorithms so in the first semester in any IIT and ISC students will take one algorithm course that is for Seoul and in all IIT and ISC they have this common pattern or common structure where in algorithm course they not only ask you to write the algorithm they will also ask you that please prove that your algorithm is correct this is called proof of correctness for any algorithm and this is something where every mtech students used to suffer because this is something that we don't practice during our undergraduate days during our undergraduate they typically write the algorithm and then write the complexity time complexity or space complexity and that's it we get the full marks but in iit and isc they will ask you that please write the uh, write the proof of the correctness of the algorithm and that will that will carry the half of the marks of the whole question so if the question is carrying 10 marks for proofing uh, the correctness that will uh, that will carry 5 marks and writing the uh, algorithm will carry 5 marks and here every student struggle during my time also in isc i have seen every student used to struggle, uh, struggle how to prove uh, the correctness of the algorithm because this is something that you must learn this is not a trivial thing you have to practice this thing and then only you have the intuition that how to uh, you know prove my uh, algorithm uh, correct so that's why i'll recommend you that please go through your uh, algorithm books whichever you are referring there whatever algorithm you have studied so far please uh, you know go through their proof of correctness that will give you an idea that how to write uh, proof of correctness so this is something that you must learn next is programming skill and this question i often you know get from the from the aspirants that you know my programming skill is not good uh, so should i uh, parallelly prepare for programming with gate preparation so in that time i often recommend that don't do that first prepare for the gate crack the gate exam and then whatever the time you'll be getting before joining the institutions try to practice programming as much as possible frankly speaking in in your mtech you know though you are joining this big uh, big institutions like iit and isc if you are not good in the programming skill your placement uh, you know chances will be reducing because in in any company you will be going for there will be a coding round and you have to do well in the coding round and then only they will ask you for the for the interview so that's why this is the time that you have already cracked gate exam now you have to start working on your coding skill so start from very basic uh, take any any platform and start solving easy questions first then go to the medium one and then eventually go to the you know tougher one so i'm telling you to start from now because you have one and a half hour, half uh, year before your placement so if you start from now and if you solve few questions even weekly i mean not not saying before joining institutions even after joining the institutions also if you solve few questions weekly uh, there whenever you'll be doing your mtech uh, in these institutions eventually you know you will be your your skill will be developed and before the your placement uh, you 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 can say that you are a, uh, you are a good coder so programming skill will be very much needed so that's why try to solve questions from different platforms that is there available i hope you all know about it there is geeks for geek there is lit code anyone you choose start uh, start now uh, solving from the very basic questions and eventually you will be an expert in this field uh, before your placement now the immediate next question you will ask me that what programming language i should refer to frankly speaking for coding test in different uh, companies there is no such restriction whichever coding language you are comfortable with you can choose that coding language but for different courses in iit and isc there are some you know restrictions especially if you are uh, if you are doing a uh, course in the system domain then they expect you that you will do the coding assignments or whatever coding that will be there in the course in c++ on the other hand if you are attending a ai or ml course or if you are doing your mtech project in ai and machine learning domain then you have to do your coding in python languages so that's why i recommend you to try to do do coding in python or in the c++ because that will be helpful for you uh, during your MTech. the next thing that you must know is something called latex so LaTeX is something I hope you are not much familiar about, but this is a tool that is widely used in different academic institutions for their academic research. So I hope by now, whenever you have to submit a report, uh, you have written it in, in, in some Google Doc or Microsoft document format and convert it to PDF and send it. 
but in iit is an isc you are you are you are expected to write any report in the in the latex format because latex has a very good look and feel and it has inbuilt features that that give you some formatting and all and it looks very clear and all so that's why all the all the all the professors they expect you that whenever they will they are giving you any assignments you are submitting the assignments in 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 an latex format so you you can't write in the google doc or if you if you can't just write in the paper and take a scan and send so that is not that is not allowed you have to write everything in the latex and then only you have to submit so that's why you must learn uh, latex for sure and latex is a very easy uh, easy things to learn i mean it's not that difficult so there is a standard website that is available that is called overly so the link i'll be giving in the description you can go to overly and you can try um, for few days and you will be knowing how to use that and there are very, very uh, there are many templates also available there so if you just click on the uh, new project so there will be a lot of templates available and whichever templates you want to uh use you can use it and one more thing you know during your placement whenever you will be building your cv or resume there also latex will be helpful because in iit and isc all the students they used to create the cv in latex only if you go to my web page also whatever cv i have uploaded there that is also made in the in the in the in the uh, overleaf or latex and you can see how how good it looks that's why latex is a must thing and i always recommend you that you you forget about google doc and all and start learning latex so that you can write all of your report during your mtech days in latex next thing is github uh, this is something i hope many of you know about and many might not be knowing about uh so github is a rep repository where you can you can put all of your uh, code uh, so that you know you can share the link with the others so this is a cloud based uh, repository where people used to store their uh, you know code base and then they can use it so no need of storing your code into your local system now git has few commands uh, like how to add a file into your github repository how to commit uh how to push how to pull uh, your your repository how to clone the repository so there are many things that is possible and there is a well uh, you know documented website that is there uh, for github commands so i'll i'll recommend you just just you know have a hands on on the on the git repository try to make a dummy dummy uh, project and try to push it to the uh, github because you know in any courses where there will be a programming assignment or projects uh your your instructor or your professor will ask you that you you give give me the github repository so then you have to uh, give him the link uh for where your uh, code base is uploaded and even during your placements also in the cv uh what what are project you have done uh, you will be given the link of the uh, repository wherever it is uploaded so github will be very much needed during your mtech days during your course work as well as during your placement also that that's why i'll tell you that uh please have a have a have a look in the github comment finally i'll tell you that whoever is using windows as of now try to give up it and move to linux because linux will be much more recommended for you for your academic academic resource and also you know try to know very basic linux commands uh because you know in in any academia whatever server that will be given to you that will be linux based server and you must know how to connect to server you know how to copy files from your from a local system to the uh, linux system and there are many other things how to uh, make a make a directory how to copy files how to create files and all of these things will be there how to run file in the server system and there are many things was there so that's why i'm telling you that you know try to learn the basics of unix command and try to give up windows now and move to linux so that you know you you, you will have a familiarity of working in the linux system and that will be a blessings for you in 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 iits and isc because in iits and isc all the servers are linux based and whenever you you will be given access to any server and whenever you will log in there uh, you will feel uh, you know very much uncomfortable that you don't know how to use a linux system so that's why it's recommended that you move to linux and start working on the basic commands that will be needed for you there are a lot of resources available online you can follow one of them and this is the last thing that i want to tell that move to linux and try to understand the linux command so yeah that's it guys that's it about this video i hope uh, you you got to know about what are the skill set or what are the things that you must learn uh, before going to iit and isc for mtech this will give you an edge and makes your life a bit easier especially the mathematics part i hope all of you have done during your uh, bachelor days or gate days but you might not have gone through each topics with details uh, uh, details uh, that much 
because you might have just learned the pattern and solved the question and you have finished the subject but now you have you must have the basic understanding very clear so that you can go to the advanced level very well so that's it guys that's it about this video so if you have liked this video please like it and share this video to other people and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload a video, you will get instant notification. That's it about this video. I'll be meeting in the next video. Until then.